Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's list, I've seen some people playing this Aridin list. Um, I've had mixed results with it. If you guys play this list, please comment below and let me know how you're faring with it. I'm about 50-50 with it, and I just I don't think the the meta lets, lets me play this, but um, it's a fun list. It's just I'm not real sure on whether or not it can survive. Um, we'll see, but uh, going through the cards, Nagafar, I mean, you, you pull two golds, you put one on the top, so, you know, you could play this in uh, round one, possibly pull something good, put another one on the top. You got Dominance in here, so you got Old Spirit Tip to Sleep and Ice Giants to try and get that, keep that turn one uh, Dominance throughout uh, the first round or possibly the second round. Usually you want to get your warrior cards and stuff out round one. That way you can possibly draw into your Yennefer Conjurers, your Karen Thiers, and stuff like that. Uh, I do like playing King of Beggars in round one just to, um, you know, get some carryover and possibly force one of their locks in the beginning. Um, one thing, I do have Prince Vellum in here and King of Beggars are like best friends with King Prince Villain. For some reason, he just loves buffing this card if it's in your hand. <laughs> so, fair warning on that. Uh, if you do have uh, Prince Villain in your hand and King of Beggars, you plan on playing them. Uh, Yennefer Conjurer, one of your targets for the Karen Thier. Um, and then you can even shield it with your leader. Um, you can even Karen Thier your Abalok as well to possibly make something immune. That's another option you can try. Imlareth is the engine, and this is another card where I'm super confused if this card is not worded properly or what, but I've had Dominant several times and it does not damage for two. I don't know if it's a bug or whatever, but I only damaged for one and I had this thing up to like a 12, so I don't know. <laughs> this is another reason why I'm not sold on this list, but... Um, the Ice Giants, like I said, just to get Dominance. Lady of the Lake, a uh, nice way to get a shield on something. Nithral, um, getting the um, Summoning Circles out of there, or Frighteners, can be huge. I mentioned Pris Valium. The only downside to this is the King of Beggars, you know, combo. Um, you have to be careful, too, when you have Prince Vellum to make sure that you have other golds to pull in your deck. If you do draw really well, um, you might want to mulligan a gold <laughs> just in case. Uh, Hideous Feast, they're just nice to keep the dominance rolling. Mahaka Males, if they do lock your Yennefer Conjurers or Inlerits, you got a chance to bring them back. Um, Wild Hunt Warriors, you know, these things can hit for like four sometimes. That's usually about where they top out. Riders, just a thinning option. Uh, the Hounds, almost always find their uh, three three damage target. Um, the Navigator, same thing. As long as you're playing them in round one, you should be able to pop them off. And then just two Rocket Spores, just just for something to play, uh, you know, if you don't have, if you don't want to play one of your engines just yet. But, uh, yeah, that's the list, guys. Here's a couple games. Let me know what you think. Any last words? Oh, boy. This one's going to be tough. I think we drop... Well, they have double lock, right? Uh, this is fun. I think we just play Avalok. And get as much carryover as humanly possible. And if he locks it, he locks it. Our brothers in the valleys need us. Do we just play it outright, or do we go for the Yennefer shenanigans?
Yeah, I think we go for the carry over. How much carryover do you think we can get? We'll pay man back for the persecution! He's going carryover. How about we go carryover? Don't interest me. Might see a lock here. He passed. Oh, wow. Do we bleed him? What's the Nogglefar pulling? Imlarith. Oh, wait. Let's get uh, this out, and then this. There we go. So what's Nogglefar pulling? Uh, Prince and Anithral? It's not really that great. I think we play Old Spear Tip. Then we play maybe feast. No, let the live. Uh, reach to we hit this. Next we get the riders out. And that's gonna be pretty tough to Blood and neck ends. Similian Wild. Twenty points. He needs fifteen points in one card. Can he get it? Without using a bunch of leader charges or his Sheldon. All right, he's down a card. We're out. We did our job. If we draw, um, they don't have, they don't usually have, uh, Artifacts. I mean, he's got to get nine points. This might be kind of rough for him without spending his Sheldon. Barnabas got it, but I mean that's a that's one of his finishers, you know. So we dropped the spore. Man, if we draw Prince here, that's gonna suck. He's playing Matrons, that might come into play. And I don't think we're gonna have Dominance. Alright. Milva. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot. Nagafar just pulls Prince. We lost. <laughs> oh, man. We should have threw back Imlarith. We play Lady of the Lake. He's got to use a ping here. Unless he locks it. That'd be awesome if he did. Plays his leader. Play, play. Oh, he plays Sheldon early. Okay. Cool. I mean, if he moves it, that's just as bad. He has Geralt. That's pretty much game. <laughs> Alright. He didn't move it, which is nice. Let's start hitting, uh, let's start whittling down the big stuff. Ha <laughs> ha! Leave it to us! Why didn't we get dominance there? Why aren't why aren't we getting dominance? Damage an enemy by two. I'm confused. Explain. <laughs> Why do so it doesn't matter. I'm not getting dominance anyways. here. We might have won too. I don't know, I think I got ripped off here. We have dominance here, right? So I could get damage. Oh no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Eleven. So this is oak. Ciprin. He <laughs> conceded, he would've won. Oh, he would've won. Oh, dude. I hope you don't watch this video. <laughs>
Let's play one more. That was weird. Well, we got Nithral, which is nice. Um, a possible Nithral. Um, Alright. So this is fine. We might just go with straight carryover. Site now. He doesn't, we play King of Beggars. Nice. So, how are things? Shield that. <laughs> Doesn't have dominance. Get these out. So this is Slizer. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we not buff up Prince Vellum? I guess we try it. Wants the dominance. Sometimes submission is a virtue. Oh, we just play everything. Unlock that. Wait, he's down a card. He's gonna kill his own shit? Really? That's different. 35. He's growing two. Pinging for one. Pinging for two. Don't have dominance. Play a seven. Karen has got some sad points. What are the odds? All in. He 
wants to play as Glusty. Can. I got a ton of carryover. Boost by one. I mean, is it worth it? Probably not. Just keep this. Oh, we're good right there. Kill as long, if we could kill that circle, we might be okay. might actually win us the game. If he does a Vran in hand, we kill it with this. And we just buff that with Karen Deer. I think we keep it. So we Karen Thier <laughs> into a rock spore. He plays circle. Buffs one. Okay. We still have dominance. Get it while we can. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Next, we drop our rockers. We still got dominance. He's gonna play. Should we play this? We can kill that next turn. We kill this. Bump up this. Oh, we should have maybe. If he has a brand, that was maybe dumb. But, I mean, the brand's gonna kill all this stuff. And he's gonna renew at 12? Maybe? I must think of my folk. Do we have circle in hand? Or he only plays... Wait, what? Do we just play Nithral? 
He has circle in hand, right? Or he just played Obelok and he only runs one artifact? Oh, he had uh, Painted Ale as well. So let's see, what's Glusty get him? Does Glusty get him there? Nope! <laughs> that was a really, really weird game. Hey, but that's the video for today, guys. Like always, thank you, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.